what does the United States do and what's expected of us, mm. both from our friends and our foes? Well, I mean, what's remarkable is that the Obama administration has managed to alienate both sides of the divide in the Arab world. So dictators think that Obama is pro-democracy and revolutionary. The Saudis, for example, think that because Obama threw Mubarak under the bus. But if you talk to protesters on the ground, they think that Obama is a friend of dictators. So, we, so this is, I think, a general problem we, we see with Obama's policies, not just in foreign policy, but also domestic policy. You take two opposite positions and you split the middle. Now, I think in times of great ferment, like the ones we're in now, what you need is bold, decisive leadership. Um, it's an oversimplification, but I think leading from behind is a somewhat accurate description of Obama's approach in the region. You can call the Bush administration's approach leading from the front or whatever, whatever the opposite would be. But I, you know, I think it's interesting that as much anti-Americanism as there is in the Middle East, there's still a desire for the US to play a more constructive role. It's this kind of odd love-hate relationship that Arabs have with the US. So in one breath, they'll say, the US is the worst thing in the world, but then they'll ask, why isn't the US doing more to, to support our democratic aspirations? So there, and when people, when the rebels were suffering in, in Libya or the protesters in Bahrain, they didn't turn to Russia or China for assistance. They said, we want the US to do more. And I think that's still an important point to remember that there is something different about the US in that respect. Mm -hmm.